Hi there, Andrew here, and today we play some Humankind together with Rude. We have a war that goes on since long time. <laughs> very long time, and we have to finish it. We're gonna do it very, very, very soon, I promise you. We have now Feudalism, we have now Tubalista, and uh, in a turn we are going to kill the left militia. So I think that we can attack in, in one turn, I would say. Harappa built now one regiment of Gothic cavalry. And the next step... Hmm. Plus 18 industry is really a lot. I will take it. And then I'm going to take the Kaiser Dome. The Kaiser Dome is going to provide with faith, science and production. Probably it would be easier to do first the Kaiser Dome, but now maybe it's too late. And Tikal uh, built another, another fleet. So this is going to be the fleet. Uh, I think this is the fleet four, uh, because here I have the fleet three. Fleet one is already wandering somewhere, and this is the fleet two. At least this is this is what I, as far as I remember the chronological order. So this guy here keeps exploring. So far I keep it automatic because I like to see, to check and see if I find any sort of curiosity. Um, here we are getting some damage, but not so much damage to say, okay, we're gonna die. No, not really. Now we enter in coastal water, so it's going to be even better. I want to check what's going on here as well. And fleet number four, uh, you can go in out explore. So we will have three manual uh, fleets and one fleet in out explore that's gonna support us. Tikal now can work on our special monument, the Kaiser Dome. And we have a unicorn horn. I can buy a unicorn horn uh, and get more stability or do experiments or Okay, let's study it. I, I think we're losing some gold to get more science. That's not bad. And now I have enough, I forgot, I have enough influence to go to the land rights and try to move to plus 10 food per number of attached territories to a city. And now we move also to full liberty um, plus social science plus social a geopolitical uh, uh, world plus full Collectivism. Your empire nope. I don't accept that. To what do I owe the pleasure? All right, I can accept the correspondence, the scientific correspondence with the green. Right, uh, fine. Let's see if we survive. Whoa, 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 what happened? We just found a nature wonder, Sultan Gel. Sultan Gel discovered. Wonderful. Uh, we should definitely found a city here. You would... All right. This exploration is uh, giving us a lot of money, a lot of, a lot of advantages. Let me see if I find a last style of, um, yeah, it's all right. We stick, we, st we stop here. You were supposed to be on out explore. Why did you now stop and ask to check? This is the fleet four. They were supposed to be on out explore. Maybe I did a mistake. Moeno Dava is now having the parade which is beautiful because now we can create armies with a better um, with, with a better experience. And considering that we cannot support more than 19 pop, we have to start building an army. And this time I'm going to build two Gothic Cavalries, one Javelinir and two Warriors. This is the army that I'm going to build. And okay, I, I, I unfortunately they don't have a star yet, so 
They don't start with a lot of experience, but look at this. This is gonna be the Legion 3, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I need to call it Legion 3. Or Legio 3, if you prefer. Wondering if you're a partner or um, refuse. <laughs> So now you see that the food is back uh, on track and uh, we are going to have a, an army. It's very important to have an army, otherwise we really... I mean, we are very strong, but we need an army. Okay. This continent is so big. So, so big. Okay, let's close this painful chapter of our experience. Let's assault this manual battle, obviously. Yep. This is what I want to do. I want to keep my siege weapons in the first line and I want to keep my other guys here under uh, to push. We need, of course, uh, the support of our only melee unit here that we are opening right now. And yeah, good, very good. We have to destroy those palisades, so we can also throw javelins in a better way. Yeah, that's it. There is nothing else that I can do right now. Or, yeah, sure. And turn. Let me see how they do, how they respond. I think that they will charge my ballista. They destroy one. They will destroy also this one probably. And then I can move my javelins up. Yep. Okay, now. We can now move our unit inside their territory. Uh, let me quickly check if I can attack us from this position. Yes, I can. Let them go down so they will hit the river. That's gonna be a, ba a very bad uh, thing for them. Ah, look at this. They, there is a little surprise. <laughs> there are also little cities here on top. I wanted to go and capture the flag, but maybe later. All right. Oh, and I keep forgetting that I have other units here behind. Now, it's their turn. I think that I might lose a unit. I do. But now we, we put them on the, on the very lower ground and, I mean... It's quite simple now, isn't it? I can't move from here. And turn. I would try to finish this battle without losing any other unit. That would be best. That would be the best approach. Okay, <laughs> I didn't win it. <laughs> I didn't win it yet. Sorry for that, guys. Really sorry for that. So, let's get this curiosity. Now the fleet number three is going to cross the ocean here in the north and check if there is any other. Mass of land, but no, we can't find anything here, so fine. Then we have to go back to um, coastal waters. As a Theology has been researched, so we might found a new city. And uh, I would suggest... Hmm. 
Well, the icon shop is giving me plus 10% science. That's also an investment. Then I'm going to, okay, the fleet four is again off of the auto explorer. I have the feeling that this is not working properly or as I would expect. So I will keep just, I will just keep this fleet here parked in the Harbor of Tikal with a defensive purpose. So I'm not going to worry about that too much. And I'm going to push the, no, I, I, I'm going to build the one Kaiserdom also here. And now I need to decide where to put my next outpost. This is going to be here. And then we can explore. Okay. My turn, right? All right. Very good. This army is so outdated now. But I think that we have annihilated the yellow friend. I think so. Speak and make it quick. I cannot force surrender yet. So, in order to get an assimilation, I need to have I need to have at least 60% and have a 73. But I think that I don't have enough points, probably. Let's see the, the next turns. This continent is just huge. It's like almost like our continent already. It's just huge. All right. Let me see if I can uh, if I can use this gold somehow in a proper way. I can buy here a Kaiserdom, but it takes two turns. I think that I will use this gold just to upgrade my army when it will be time. But now when Nodaro has one army, that's enough for the time being. Look at this. The forge is giving me plus 25 industry right away. And then 26 and then another 10 and the 7. I mean, in a few turns I'm going to boost uh, the, the production of Menoharo massively. And then I'm going to take another parade, so we are going to give even more uh, experience to our unit. And now the fleet 3 is at home. Uh, they can just stay here for a turn and then we can try to explore the rest of this area. Foreign customs. 100% fame earned per estate. Is really? Aesthetic care star plus 100% or prevents the spread of... Other empire spheres of influence through control territory. No, I think I would take cultural respect and go more in this direction. I don't have enough. Uh, I don't have enough um, influence yet, but I will get there. So it's time to force surrender and take Kerma and take Parsa. Uh, bye. Semplicemente incantevole. I have just uh, destroyed the Ghanians and I'm not sorry about that. We unlock a lot of expansion in stars. So Parsa is going to be my fifth city and Kerma my sixth city. Now we do an attachment and another attachment. And now we have the full control of our continent. I just need to... Uh, Assimilate those guys here. Right? Okay. We need to build in production here as, as fast as possible and also in stability. Let's start with the stability. All right, they are offering an aggression pact. I think that the yellow friends have uh, somehow an explorer or someone, I don't know. That's not my problem. I think they will be destroyed in the next turn. So, where are we moving the Legion 1? Uh, this is going to Lothal. All right. 
We even go back to Rappa. Another wreck. We are full of money. <laughs> I need to figure out how to do that. Uh, the Lizard 2 stays in Karma for the time being. And okay, you can go here. Those those um, those armies are absolutely not uh, balanced. Uh, they're really bad. But we will fix it. Parsa will do a Maker's Quarter. And wait a minute. There is some iron here that we might use. And an arbor. Okay, we have a builder star already. Look at this. Come on. So we just passed the 7000 points and that's wonderful. So I was afraid, I've been afraid that the second position, so the light green, blue, um, could reach me, but now I am giving, I'm having a distance of 1800 points. I really like this. I think that I should really. I should really be relaxed. Now we start building in Arapa, the next wonder. Okay. So Lothal um, obviously is pushing a lot of science and we, can, uh, we keep doing it. After that, we are going to build some Research quarters. And Moino Davo now has 311 production points, which is also massive. I love it really, really much. Let's go for the parade. So we will build another army soon. And now Arapa can also touch the territory of Kalk. Not bad. And we can take also some lead, so more science per researcher. We have so many researcher, researcher that, I mean, if I look at my, yeah, every technology costs between three and four turns. Alchemy obviously is the most expensive of these uh, full uh, era, so it makes sense that we have to spend a little bit more. But then we are going to build or buy directly uh, the alchemist uh, in my highest, higher, um, scientific cities, in particular Harap and Lothal. How do you do? And now I refuse. Good. I have to figure out a way to move uh, my a colonist here. For both of our aspirations. Accetto i vostri termini. Oh, silk. Oh, we trade it as well. What do you want now? An alliance, we accept it. We accept the alliance with the green. The, the, okay, the, the green. The greens are two greens. There is the dark green and the light green. Um, <clears throat> or I don't know if you can, can consider also this a very dark green. I consider it grey. <laughs> but um, anyways. And then there is this water green. I need to be more careful next time when I pick the colors of my opponents. More gold. Wonderful. So, Kerma. It's now growing fast. We see that the stability is not the best one in the world, so let's build an aqueduct first. Let's see. Ah, being an expansionist uh, civilization, now we have already completed our uh, task and we got a lot of fame. But uh, uh, obviously, I don't want to jump to the next era yet because you see, I, I didn't perform anything else. So. 
but I, I might stop for a little while declaring war uh, everywhere, left and right. Okay, child savior, suppress permit, appropriate. Um, I might suppress them, no, I, I, I would just appropriate them so that I have a discount for six turns. You look different. Haircut? Mi dispiace, ma nessuno. Right. Okay. It seems that we have explored basically all the map. So I'm going to move the third fleet on this arbor and we will have another. So we're gonna have two fleets, one on, on the east coast, one on the west coast, and they will both be in the future our first line of defense in case of war against anyone else. Now we stop those guys here. I could also chop forests. I, I, I'm aware of that, but um, I didn't find yet the time to do that, I guess. All right, so um, this fleet number two uh, can slowly go back to uh, and go home. And now we can build the apothecary, yeah, sure, but we can also build the alchemist workshop, wonderful. And we have a star. So now, finally, let's think about our army, because we move from war summons, heavy infantry and chivalry. Then we will have very, very strong armies. Where are you going? Go back, go home. You have us to go home. Okay, you stay here. And Tikal built one Kaiserdom. Okay. Let me check if I can build a colonist yet. Not really. Three masted ship, okay. That's a di feudalism is a different topic. We start with three people and all the buildings for the ancient era and the classical era, but it's not the colonists. Okay, all right, all right. So I, I got confused with this. No, 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 no. Remind me later, man. I, I, I have no time for this. Twenty-three industry is good. That's the twenty-three industry. How much science do you have? Yeah. Nine science is not worth. Probably a library is better. Right. And Karma now is boosting our stability. This is going to be much better. So. Let's use a theater first. An arbor, wow. That's, that's cool. And after the arbor, I think that I can place uh, a couple of a couple of um, merchant uh, market quarters in Kerma, so that the city turns into a more, let's say, gold-oriented city. Why not? So well done. Now you go back. Kerma converted. We have the war summons. Finally, a medieval uh, army. Let me check the civics for, uh, scientific facts plus one science on all his side or uh, faith and stability on research quarter. Obviously, I go on this, uh, the scientific side and now our scientific production is skyrocketing even more. And you guys, where are you? Where are they? Where did they? F where are they? I don't think that they settle down anywhere. This is so funny. 
Here I'm not giving any any money, any influence, so that's why I'm losing. Let's let's now put a lot of money into those city states because if I don't conquer them, they are giving me so much benefits in terms of science and really I I want to do that. Close and close the turn. And I need to help Arapa with this Angkor Vat. So Lothal now can give me a little bit more science. Uh, and probably, yeah, that's going to help even better. One and two. We, bu we just buy this. Tell me about your soul. Speaking about money, now I can finally give promotions to my javelins and look at this, I'm going to burn all my gold because the crossbowmen are very strong but they are also very expensive so... I offer an excellent proposition. I check to Good. Alright, it has been a long time in peace, what do you think? <laughs> Usually I'm not so peaceful, right? But now, I mean, I could conquer also the city-states. Uh, I might do it at a certain point in time. I can also get some points for um, completely owning a continent, you know. But I really like the fact that I received so much science from this city. Look at this. This is giving me 159 science. It's like... It's like 15% of my income is the city state. Why should I conquer them? Are you wine or are you vinegar? Okay, so let's go back to let's go to Kerma. I'm just going to use this massive production. And boost and boost and boost. Great. Soon we will have a new tenet with our religion. Keep it in mind. Heavy infantry researched. Very good. I'm not sure if I have any infantry left, so yeah, sure we do. Now our third legion is the only one with a little bit of balance. Alright, it seems that Valinog uh, has fallen. I have nothing to do with that. I, I Don't look at me, that's not my responsibility. Or maybe yes. Last rites. Refuse for stability. Uh, welcome for money or fanatical for fate. Let's let's go fanatical, guys. Hurrah! Foreign customs. I got. I get now more fame. And now, I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you did, please consider leaving a comment and a thumbs up. And I wish you a fantastic day or evening. And we see each other next time.